you started coming on our show, a late night show, years and years ago mm -hmm. when you were virtually unknown. You've become this huge movie star. Huge. Well, huge. It's, it's yeah. true. <laughs> you, you're self-deprecating, but girls shriek for you. I hear shrieking. I hear... Uh, it's they... usually shrieking like near me, but I'm usually walking past tragedies. So. No, 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 it's no, no. related no. to me. No, 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 no. It is related to you. Okay. Do you find that flattering uh, that uh, you've, oh, you've... Oh, I don't think it happens, but um, no, I, pr I don't think I would find it flattering either. It's like terrifying when somebody's screaming at you. <laughs> <laughs> They're that's not like screaming that's at like you. It's like a human it's... nature thing. It's like... You... Well, I'm, I'm just curious. Uh, you're very convincing in this movie. I really like the film. You're very convincing uh, doing magic. Clearly, you, you had to learn magic mm -hmm. uh, to play this role of this terrific magician. Did you, I mean, what was your exposure to magic growing up? Were you one of those kids that was into magic? Um, no, no, because I couldn't understand magic. I, I, my mother was like a, a birthday party clown when I was growing up, so... Um, Hold it. Let's back it up for a sure. second. Sure, sure. <laughs> You can't just say that and then move forward. Yeah, you know, no, my mom, I've learned that. birthday, <laughs> my mom party, birthday clown. party clown. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And my dad, Michael Jordan. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so wait, so wait, she was a birthday, she, she would Yeah, she'd perform at like kids' birthdays, but you know, she didn't perform at mine because the illusion would have been broken because I'm her son. So she <laughs> bartered with the local magician uh, who performed at my birthday parties in exchange for like a free per party for, you know, his family. And so um, I knew this magician well because he was my mother's friend, but he also performed at my birthday. And I remember like not understanding what he was doing. Like I never understood like what the actual trick was. Like he pulled a rabbit out of a hat and I just thought like, well, yes, of course a rabbit would come out of a hat. And then all the kids <laughs> around me were like amazed and I was just bewildered. You were bewildered by magic because there's this pressure to see what it is. I mean, rabbit out of a hat, that's pretty obvious. But card trick, I'm always <laughs> nervous when I'm watching a card trick that yeah. I'm gonna get my part wrong. Right, I feel right, the pressure. Right. And then when they go, huh? Yeah. I just, you know what I mean? You I feel like, I remember my card, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think that's probably why a lot of magicians work really well, because the people don't remember what their card was. And they just say, yes, that's <laughs> yeah, it. That, Please that let me it. the F out of here. Uh, <laughs> magicians are good liars. I think you have to be a good liar to be a magician, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and what, also uh, dexterous. Yeah. Yes, you have yeah. to be, well, obviously you need that skill, but right. you need the skill of being able to misdirect people, deceive them. Yeah, Is that something strange. that you would be good at? No, I'm not good at that, no. No, I mean, I, I, you know, I spent like four months learning magic for the movie and I would perform for the crew. You know, there was a lot of guys working on the movie, usually big, big men. And um, I would do like a trick for them and immediately feel guilty and uh, threatened. So like, um, I would, you know, in the middle of the trick, reveal how it was done. <laughs> That's the worst magician ever. Yeah, yeah. Basically, I have one in my pocket. You'll see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's gone. But you won't see it, but you're going to see it. It's a bad magician, but a good friend. Yeah, a good friend. <laughs> yeah. But I like that you feel bad doing a good magic trick it's for deceitful. people. It's deceitful. It's like, uh, yeah, it's deceitful. No, yeah. no, it's just it's entertainment. It's I know, I realized it. And then when I would tell them what the trick was, they were disappointed. So I realized, like, magic is fun and you should not reveal the secrets. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't think you should. Well, there's uh, this, uh, some great locations. You shot part of this on uh, Bourbon Street during Mardi Gras. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and it, really uh, fantastic scenes. Is this, w was this shot with, are those all extras? Are those all people in the movie? Because it looked like these, some of these crowd scenes are huge. Yeah, yeah, we filmed like on Bourbon Street and I think like half the people were hired by the movie to like act like they were crazy and then the other half of the people were crazy. <laughs> and um, I remember I was like running through Bourbon Street and every time I passed this woman, well, I passed this woman and she, she lifted up her shirt and I thought, I hope, I hope they tell her, you know, that, that we're filming here and that would be really embarrassing to her parents for them to see it and everything. And then I ran past her again, like in the second take, and she did the same thing, and I realized, oh, she's, she's been hired to do that. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. I love your reaction to a woman lifting her shirt. It's, oh, her good parents, heavens. Her parents, oh, well. her parents, I know. I know. Her, her, I mean, you're the sweetest guy I've met in show business ever. I've not I said this about you over the years. I I'm know, like, I, there's I no one up. nice than to see Eisenberg but a girl lifting her top. And you're like, oh, oh her parents, this could be scarring. <laughs> well, I know, I, I walked phone up. calls should be made. <laughs> yeah. Letters should be written. <laughs> I apologize to give her my parka. <laughs> Cover up, young lady. Yeah, please, have You're from scarf. another century. That's what's so nice about you. I gave her my knickers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Which actually don't, doesn't fit over the top.